Let's go take a look at a very basic example on how to set these up. So example number one, you're just going to do a basic overlay a milling example where we have two inches of new pavement. So two inches of new overlay pavement. And then we're going to have this little leveling wedge over here. And then we're going to do some milling. Let me jump back into the software here, change corridors, change files. My overlay corridor. Hopefully, this is still set up right from earlier. As a reminder, the session is being recorded. We will post it to the Learn Server in a week or so, and I'll try and post the uh, the style sheets as well. We're getting a lot of questions about the style sheets, so I had that same thing this morning. Okay, so here's my corridor again. This is already set up. I got my template on here. I don't have any super elevation applied or anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to set this up from scratch, essentially. So it's our proposed pavement backbones. This is our proposed um, two inches of pavement. Here's our leveling course. And then here's our milling. So how do we make that work? I'm going to go over to my template library. Let's open that up. This template here should be pavement overlay, leveling, and milling. Looks something like that. Maximize the view. So this is just a standard component here. This is just my road pavements, my typical wearing course. Now the magic happens below this, okay? So down here underneath on the very bottom of this, we have a milling component. This is an overlay stripping component. You can see the properties here. The milling component is going to follow along the surface as the top option, and the bottom option is going to follow along the component. I also checked on the stripping component for quantity purposes. We go over and we take a look at the leveling component. That one's designed to follow the component along the top, and the bottom is going to follow the surface. Okay. So when you create these, all you simply have to do is just right click in the view, Select overlay and stripping, give it a name, set a feature definition, and select the top and bottom options that you want to use. Okay. And I just placed these for this particular example, I just placed them along the bottom. You can certainly place them anywhere you want depending on your, your project. Okay, so that's how that one's set up. So let's go take a look at this. We scroll through our sections here. You can see we got the existing milling there, and we got the leveling here. Now, we probably don't want to be milling out this much because at this point, we're probably going to be milling too much pavement. So, you, this would be a case where you'd probably want to apply your super elevation or your corrected cross slopes to this template so that it follows along the uh, proper super as well. Also notice in the 3D model view, if we take a look at this, you can see the 3D mesh elements that are being created. This can be used as a guide, helpful guide to determine if you're milling out too much or if you have too much overlay in certain areas. You just kind of look, look at it from a plan view perspective. You could even toggle it on in the, in the 2D model view over here as well, track along in your, your alignment, determine particular station ranges where you may want to make some adjustments. I could come over here and toggle on my 3D model view, turn off super elevation real quick. You can kind of see that where all the milling is happening. So you can see where the leveling wedges are. So it's a useful tool to uh, determine where some of your overlay, significant overlay and milling areas are just by simply looking at the colors that you have displayed on the model and referenced into the 2D view there. I'll go ahead and turn that off. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.